You know, South Africa are accusing Nigerians that foreigners and Nigerians are the one. Foreigners, let me repeat it. Foreigners are majorly Nigerians are the one committing crime in South Africa. That is the reason propaganda they have been moving around. But according to their intelligent recent report, according to their intelligent recent report, as of 2024, the latest date, they gave statistics of the people who commit crimes over a short period of time in South Africa. And indeed, after listening to this, please, I want you to ascertain. If foreigners are the major issue, are the one committing crime, or if it's South Africans? Uh, dear South Africans, uh, members of the media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are pleased to share the successes attained by the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, DPCI, during the first quarter of 2024-2025 uh, financial year. Of the 262 sentenced natural persons, 173 are South Africans, while 77 are foreign nationals. The top sentence foreign nationals are 27 Zimbabweans, uh, Vasutu with 40, 14 convicts, Mozambique with 10 convicts. The rest are... Do you want me to repeat that again for you, for those of you who didn't hear it correctly? That is DPCI, South Africa DPCI. And the year 2024 stroke 2025 forensic investigation. And from the 262 convicted criminals in South Africa, one draft of the theory are South Africans, 27 Zimbabwe's, 14 Wasutu, and 10 Mozambique. The rest, other foreigners. Nigerian name was never mentioned. Nigeria, they said natural person convicted. Natural, no be artificial, no be social media conviction. It's not social media arrest. You know, they said natural person convicted. But I don't understand where these social media propagandas are coming from. Natural person convicted. The only thing Nigerians do in South Africa is just to chop life. Chop life, enjoy life, enjoy your women. That's all we do. That's the only thing made the pain you know for body. You know, no one see Nigeria chop life. Why? That's the only thing we ever do in South Africa. Chop life. Yes, if you said, if, if there is a conviction of people who chop life, in South Africa. I can proudly say Nigeria will be number one. If there's a conviction like that, oh, say, oh, criminal of those uh, uh, people convicted of chopping life in South Africa. Be rest assured, Nigeria eh, will be among the people who chop life in South Africa. But this one, they say criminals, criminals. In fact, eh, I beg. I need to replay that video again so that you now go here waiting to talk well. Dear South Africans, uh, members of the media, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are pleased to share the successes attained by the Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation, DPCI, during the first quarter of 2024-2025 uh, financial year. Of the 262 sentenced natural persons, 173 are South Africans, while 77 are foreign nationals. The top sentence foreign nationals are 27 Zimbabweans, uh, Vasutu with 40, 14 convicts, 
Mozambique with 10 convicts. The rest are... I've posted that again for you so that you will know. The Directorate for Priority Crime Investigation of South Africa. The Directorate for Priority Crime Investigator of South Africa. So Interior South Africa. So that statistic alone should only prove that South Africans are the one committing crime in South Africa. I'm not saying no, that foreigners are not doing it all. But foreigners who are committing crime are less. Online propaganda of showing somebody from Nigeria, or that person, any black man they see, or like what say is Nigeria, but if they do forensic investigation, they will discover that person is not from Nigeria. That is what this whole thing is telling you. Because we keep seeing online, Nigeria arrested South Africa, Nigeria arrested in South Africa. We are the conviction. We are the conviction now to prove that they are Nigerians. It's just social media conviction. When they do the investigation that is not written on social media, they find out that they are not even Nigerians. The only thing we are guilty of is chopping life and chopping your women. That is the only thing we are guilty of. That I can agree and accept that we are guilty of. So please, drop your dislike. Eh? We are not your problem. In fact, we are helping you people. It's help. We are helping you people. The other time, someone is saying Nigerians are the one building who in property that South Africa are renting. Uh -uh. You are not blaming your government. Do you want the government to start seizing Nigeria houses and giving it to you? Ha, now, wow, for these people. Well, I am so pleased to bring that news, news to you so that you guys can relax a bit. Eh? We are not your problem, please, please, please. We are not your problem. We are not, we are, will never be your problem. So that being said, North Korea need men. North Korea need men. Apparently that place is filled with old women and young girls who do not have partners. Eh? In North Korea, for example, in North Korea, for example, if they do not have basics, eh? Life amenities. Mm -hmm. If they have not ascertained that basic life amenities, chop life very well, take care of themselves. They don't want to have kids. Now, only in Africa, you go here, say they say there's what they call wedlock. It's only in Africa we hear wedlock. They don't, I don't, it's not in dictionary, but I don't know who brought about that word wedlock. Now, now they take a wash for here, say if you wed, law will come. If you don't get money, don't worry. Wed, money will come. If you don't get money, if you don't fit up, don't worry. Wed, food will come. <laughs> I don't know who bring that word, though. I don't know at all who brought that word. But then again, it's working for Africa. You see the population everywhere. So according to Global High News, they said, South Korea is paying people. 38,000 US dollars to find a husband or wife to increase the country birth rate. Their birth rate is low. Nobody wants to carry the burden of raising a child anymore. It's only Africa that has been trying as much as possible to populate the world. And Nigerians, most especially, are trying their best to populate the world. Well, there is no need for you people to able pay 38,000. 38,000 is too much. There are people here in Nigeria. Eh? All you just need to do eh, is just open a website, dating website for South Koreans. Let, it, let Nigeria have access to it. And I bet you, in less than a year, eh, your population will double. Eh? There is no need to pay 30, 38K. Just give them like 5K. 5k dollars or even uh, 2k dollars. Eh? Grand debt visa. Massive visa employment. And no, massive visa for, for partners. I'm telling you. All those issues are issues Nigeria can easily handle for you people. Straight up issues that Nigeria can easily handle for you people. They are handling it for many other countries. In fact, 
the country don't tire. They are even saying Nigeria should go back to their fatherland. They don't tire. Nigeria has handled many, many issues about population for, every, for many countries. And they are even tired. Not able to talk more of India, so. India is a city. Oh. And we don't do any issues. There's no need to pay 38 is too much. Oh. 5K. I think all the agencies in Nigeria need to go and strike a deal with North Korea. Collect 38. Pay Nigeria well $1,500. <laughs> How the agency they do with agents? Collect 5k, collect 38k from them, give the Nigeria boys 1,000. Every day you go see, like, see, airport go full. If there's anything like that, the airport full. Every day, turn up of 5,000 at least in all airports in Nigeria. 5,000 5, young, young men and young, young girls are ready. So please, uh, this will not be news. Hmm? This is not news at all. This is not news. Just, uh, just, uh, just do the right thing, and uh, a lot of people will come there. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. It's a boy Adam's link. Catch you next time. Peace.